I try not to cut my hair. I know I need to. I just don't want to. Do y'all see this? Literally, literally it's not even coming through. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a very special video to me. I'm finally cutting my hair off. I'm definitely not cutting all my hair off today, but I may do two, three, four, five inches, somewhere around there. Um, I definitely need to trim. I wanna honestly say I haven't trimmed or cut my hair in like, I don't know, like maybe six months. <laughs> that is not correct no not six months because i haven't cut my hair at all this year so i know it's been over seven months i want to say a year y'all maybe i haven't cut my hair in a year which is terrible 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 so bad i know okay don't come for me i will do better next time no for real though i need to start like cutting my hair on time like every three four months i think i'm gonna start giving myself a trim because these ends are not what's up. So what I did is I blow dried my hair. I didn't do it fully because that was just gonna take too much work. So I just kind of blow dried it so that it would be a little straighter. You can see my dead ends and split ends way, way more whenever my hair is blow dried. So that's why I have it blow dried right now. So what I'm gonna be using is a rat tail comb with stuff in it, um, a Denman brush, and then just some shears. And then I know y'all probably know this, but just don't use kitchen scissors or craft scissors anything like that you have to go to the store and buy like hair cutting scissors and i think all the hair cutting scissors have like this little piece on it don't like mark my words but i think so so just make sure you have a hair cutting scissors i'm gonna show y'all my hair before we get started like the back of my hair just so y'all can see how damaged my ends are okay can y'all see can y'all see is it damaged? I know. I know it's damaged. It's definitely damaged. <sighs> okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with just like a straight line in the back of my head. I really cannot believe that I haven't cut my hair in so long. It's like I try to stay away from the scissors because I hate short hair, like on me, I do not like short hair. I don't think it looks cute at all. So I try not to cut my hair. I know I need to, I just don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my rat tail comb. And then as y'all can see, goes, and then it literally stops like right there. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of hair to cut. That is a lot, but that's, that's where it gets stuck all the time. Detangling is so hard. Oh, uh, so annoying. I'm gonna actually get my tape measure so I can like see how much this is. One second. Oh my gosh, it's like five inches. Do y'all see that? Brush it out all the way just so I can get an even cut. They come my cut like this much. Somewhere around here. You see how like thin it is? You can literally see my hand through that. So yeah, that's three inches. I think that's what I'm gonna cut around something like that. <gasps> Look how blunt that is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm honestly not even like scared or anything. Oh my gosh, that's short. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put it lower so y'all can see. I'm gonna compare the two because I feel like it's short now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just like so flabbergasted. Like why haven't I cut my hair? Like what was I doing? Seriously. I think that's good, right? And I'm trying to like match it up to this size just so see if it's even. Maybe a little lower. Yeah, I think that's good. Look how nasty. <laughs> this is on my head. This is terrible. Like if you like if y'all can touch this, it just feels like it just feels like dead hair. 
literally feels like i don't know but i don't like it y'all think they're good y'all think they're even yeah i think it's pretty good okay next so we're gonna go ahead and compare the piece i cut to the new piece and the back of my head has always been like way shorter than the middle and this has like middle pieces in it so i know this one's about to be longer i'm not gonna cut this one all the way down to this length but we are gonna do it somewhere around there these are the links right now i really don't care if it matches up i just don't want it to be too far away i think this is good because i i want like a good trim y'all like a really good trim i wouldn't even call this is this a trim is this a cut i don't know what to call this but i want to cut like four inches and i think this is good this makes me so happy y'all to finally see this hair being gone oh my gosh i'm so ready to see my hair curly it's gonna look so freaking healthy y'all i'm gonna go ahead and match this side to that side cut it all right there every time it's just so mesmerizing like this was really my hair why do I keep smelling it? I don't know. I can definitely say that it's way easier to run my hands through. You see, it's not getting caught. My hair doesn't usually do that. It's usually like, <laughs> it's literally just running through it. Yes. So like I told y'all before, the back of my head is shorter than my front. So towards the front, I've been cutting maybe like an inch or half an inch more than I am the back. So for y'all, literally just do what you want to do for your hair. If you want to do the same length all around, if you want to do layers, do whatever you want. Please don't just try to copy me because our hair lengths are completely different. So y'all see this? Literally, it's not even coming through this part is like the middle of my head i'm gonna go ahead and bring it to the front to cut it i've never actually did this before but i seen a girl do it and i was like oh yeah that's smart so go ahead and do it y'all see how much that is it looks shorter on camera but it's low-key a lot yeah this is literally like three four inches right here stretched out so I went ahead and parted the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and do this big piece together just cause I'm feeling like it. All right, I think this is good. Oh, that's gonna be cut off. Is that good? Yeah, I think it's good. And I'm just gonna really like eyeball this one and just try to cut the same amount as I did on the other side. Gosh, it's so hard to brush through, y'all. I think this is good. It is literally so smooth, y'all. It's way shorter than before. Definitely way shorter. Honestly, like four inches to straight hair isn't really anything, I don't think. But four inches to curly hair, it's like, that's like half your head, you know? Cause like it curls up and then Oh, my hair is going to be so short. This is all the hair I cut off, y'all. It's all dry and dusty and crusty. It's definitely going in the trash. Go ahead and comment down below how often you cut your hair because I know some people do like two, three months or six months, but then some people just do it whenever they need it, you know? I'm kind of trying to figure out what's the right method for me, you know? So definitely comment down below. But that's going to be it for this video, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.